Today we're gonna be going through the top three season 24 decks in Clash Royale. Brand new season upon us. I'm super excited. Let's get into it. Before we get into deck number one, guys, I want to say thank you to all the crazy support lately. We've gained almost 10,000 subscribers in the past 28 days. Absolutely insane. If you haven't subscribed, there's still like, wow, th bro, there's still a massive percentage of people unsubscribed and we're still gaining crazy numbers. So I cannot thank you guys enough. If you're new here, you're unsubscribed, make sure to subscribe down below. We're gonna be giving away seven pass royales to those of you guys who need it. Big thanks to a sponsor that's given us these. Doesn't want to be named, but thank you very much to them. Obviously, without them, this contribution wouldn't be possible. And all you have to do is join the Discord server down below. Make sure you have a PayPal. That's going to be the only way we're going to be giving out these funds. And from there, I'm going to make some announcements in the Discord server. So stay tuned to the announcements in Sign Nation Discord server. The link to join is down below. It's going to be in the pinned comment and it's in the description. So thank you guys for tuning in to today's video. We're going to get into deck number one. Let's get after it. Now, deck number one here today, we actually featured in yesterday's video, which is doing once again extremely well. So I thank you guys for that. But check it out. We have the new version of Log Bait here along with the brand new card obviously coming into season 24 as you guys can see the new card it's going to have a spot in here i think it's going to go in for either the goblin barrel or the cannon card going to make this a very strong control deck that's going to make this deck incredibly strong especially with the rocket in there it's going to be really good guys i'm excited to see how this deck does in season 24 we obviously are not actually in season 24 we're pre-recording it to get this content out asap we're going to be uploading this video at 4 a.m on monday when the new season comes out so i'm super hyped for the new season guys let's get into battle number one here and show you guys this deck's power clb he's from the clan columbia good luck man let's see what he's got in store guys we got princess spear gobs and rascals we're gonna start off with some spear gobs at the bridge and then we're gonna go for a princess left lane now the princess will push it's gonna be really smart because check it out his it'll splash onto his princess we take his princess out our princess is looking fine our princess dies we do manage to get a nice snowball down though we're gonna go bandit at the bridge he actually is going to have a pretty solid skeleton barrel placement there so the bandit goblin barrel is gonna be great for us but at the same time we're all gonna get a little bit of damage against us not the end of the world because look at that left tower so much damage being put out the goblins are going crazy guys he only has 600 hp left the goblins went crazy we're able to defend this with the rascals here rascals once again are not buffed yet guys this is being recorded in season 23 so make sure to uh, remember that obviously Nice, the princess redirects like the absolute sniper. Oh, okay. We are going to snowball his princess. We do take her down. It's a little bit more elixir. You hate to see it. Um, and for this, honestly, let's go cannon cart just to soak up the damage. I don't think it's going to be great. It's not going to be terrible either, though. We have a massive lead, and we obviously don't have a direct counter to Skeleton Rail, so this isn't the best matchup in the world. We definitely have some answers, but we have no tower in this deck. Something to consider. So a lot of times you have to tower trade it when your opponent's playing really well. He's going with that in the back thought about sending it with the uh, bandit at the bridge. That would have been a little too risky for me. Let's go bandit here, though. Cannon card's going to help us out on defense quite a bit. We're going to be able to save up and then potentially go for a princess right here, guys. The bandit, it's doing nothing. It's going to get distracted there. Well played to him, guys. Where He just went with the log, though. I'm going to try and take his tower right here. That would be huge if we can get this tower take. Um, we're going to do some damage. Nothing crazy to cannon cart. Please move cannon cart. Nice. It's going to get the can uh, princess kill. We have the snowball now for the skeleton barrel. Now that we've fixed our cycle, all we have to do is rock. Our rocket does 370 damage. So as you guys can see, um, we're going to snowball this, actually. It was a little sus, but we'll take this. We will take that all day. If he goes Skeleton Barrel, we're going to go for the... Uh, we're gonna, let's go Princess. We're going to go Rascals here. How fast can the Rascals shoot this down? I have no clue. No clue whatsoever. All right, let's go Snowball here. The Rascals do take it out beautifully. The Knight goes down. We're going to go for a Cannon Cart right here, guys. The Cannon Cart placement. And eh, we don't need it. Let's go ahead. Guys, look at the right tower. Wait a second. Where did that... Dude, when did that happen? I'm actually so confused. Um, this is going to be a 3 count. He gives up. The deck is dominating, guys, and you don't even have the new card yet. When you throw the new card in this deck, I think this is going to be one of the top decks in the meta right now. I don't see a lot of decks countering this. Maybe Golem, maybe Hog Rider, but honestly, like, that was a crazy good deck. Crazy good battle, I meant, but uh, yeah, you'll have to see it. Thank you very much for playing. GG. So this has been deck number one. A nice three crown to start the video off. Leave a like for that. Let's get into deck number two, guys. It's going to be Lumberjack Balloon, a very strong deck in this season. This is just one variant. Lumberjack Balloon, Bowler, and Inferno Dragon. Sometimes you throw in a freeze. I I like the Electro Wizard in this deck because the Electro Wizard helps out a lot on defense. This is kind of like a Lumberjack Balloon Bridge Spam deck. It's very fun to play, also extremely strong in defense, so when you counter push, it's pretty much unstoppable. Let's get into our friendly battle. We got Luke here. Now, he's actually been on the channel before. We're going to go Lumberjack Balloon very first play because I- yes, we got the zap spell. That's huge. That's actually huge. We're going to zap it. The Mother Witch needs to die. Come on. The Lumberjack doesn't get it done, but this is going to be damage for days. This is going to be damage for days. Two shots even. Two shots go down. We'll be able to defend. Oh my goodness. The balloon bomb finishes it all off. Too good. We love to see that starting hand. That's actually awesome there. We spend nine elixir uh, plus the uh, zap spell, obviously. Okay, we need a bowler ASAP. Bowler, please. 
Come on, Dollar. Come on. Take one out. What are you doing? He just stood there. He just stood there and let it happen. It's all right. But I mean, I expected better. We definitely should have placed it differently. That one's on me. I'm sorry. Uh, as long as the boar shoots. Nice. Bandit's going to go down here. He's got some spear gobs. I think we do have a solid matchup here. We just got to play it right, obviously. Um, holy crap. We got to go with all this. No, we. this is bad. This is bad. They're going to take tower. No. That's a, that, guys, we actually lose the lead here. I did not expect him to have um, elite barbs in his deck, obviously. Lumberjack needs to go off. Come on, Lumberjack. Let's go. Lumberjack does decent. Oh, he does good. He does good. So he's got the Mother Witch and Princess. I don't think he has a lot of counters to our air. The biggest thing with this matchup, guys, now that we know he's got elite barbs, we just got to keep our bowler in cycle with that... Um, we just got to keep our bowler in cycle with uh, his stuff, obviously. Let's go Bandit here. Bandit's going to be big. Can it assassinate the Mother Witch? Please. Megan, Megan, what are you swinging at? Oh, the huge zap value, though, and we do have Electro Wizard. All we need is five Elixir, and then we'll be able to take this all out. Let's go Bowler here. We have to Bowler this. Bowler, huge, huge, huge. Let's go, Bowler. That was actually massive, and now we're going to be able to counter push, and he knows it, guys. He knows it. We're going to go Lumberjack. We're going to go Balloon. We got almost enough for the Bandit here. The Bandit's going to be big. The Bandit's going to be big. In fact, once we see those Spear Gobs, guys, we're going in. Okay, nice. He does E-Barbs that. That's actually huge, guys, because the Bowler is doing work. The Bandit and Bowler are actually going to be able to take this out. The Bowler's going to do more tower damage because of everything happening right now. He's got the Bandit down. We do need to Bowler this. He's going to go for a Goblin Barrel. We already see that coming. The Mega Minion's down. Is it going to be enough, guys? The Electro Wizard's stunning. The Bowler's tanking. That is some nice defense there. We're going to counter push here. He doesn't have a lot of DPS in the air, guys. So as you can see, we're going to all this. We're going to zap this. All he has is a Princess and a couple towers. We're going to go Bandit in the pocket. The Bowler needs to get a shot off here. The Balloon needs to do some work. Bandit hits his bandit. Oh, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be rough. Let's go bowler here. If he leaves barbs in the pocket or even oh bowler. Oh gosh. Oh what a snipe! The prediction ball, dude. We gotta go for it. We gotta go for it here. He knows it. He knows it. Alright, here's what we do. We just zap. Good game. That is it! That is it! What a match, dude. Now, obviously, we did not play that perfectly, but Luke, thank you very much for playing, dude. That was an excellent match there. The Bowler coming in clutch. 110%. Bowler's gonna be great next season, guys. Especially with a new card. I think Bowler's gonna counter that easily. Obviously, 5 Elixir, 4 Elixir, but it does give this deck a nice answer to the new card. Maybe a meta-changing deck. This deck could fit right into the meta for this season. The final deck of the day, we we gotta mention it, guys. Electro Giant. This is a new version. Obviously, this is subject to change as the new card comes out. I think the Valkyrie and Bomber are gonna absolutely shut down the new card. So that's gonna be really solid. And since the Electro Giant's so strong, Dark Prince in combination with the Baby Dragon and Mega Minion and NATO, guys, with the Lightning, it's just going to be a great deck overall. Maybe we throw in the Goblin Cage instead of the Dark Prince. This is subject to change. Like I said, we haven't had a lot of time to test it, especially with the new card. So let's get into a friendly battle, see how it goes. All right, guys, we have Arjun here, a 6,000 player. Pretty impressive stuff. Congratulations on the 6K. I know that's his first time getting there. That is an awesome accomplishment. Let's go Dark Prince in the back, see how it goes. He's definitely a big bait player. So that'll be a pretty good matchup here for us. It should be fine, especially if he's using that Inferno Tower version. We'll be in a good spot if that is the case. He's just spent a ton of Elixir there. Kind of wish I could have gone for the um, Electro Giant, obviously. We're going to go NATO, though. Get this Hog Rider in here. That's some easy King Tower activation right there. I don't think he's going to have a lot of Elixir to defend stuff, so we're just going to go Electro... Oh, he has very little Elixir. This is a nice and safe Electro Giant in the back, especially when um, it's not even two times Elixir. He's not happy with what's happening. We got an E-Giant moving up. I'm going to cry. He's really, really not happy. Okay, so he does have the Firecracker. We're going to wait a little bit and see what else, what else he's got. If he has a tower, we're easily going to be able to Lightning the Firecracker in the tower. This is going to be excellent Lightning value, guys. It's going to be great. We Lightning. We go Mega Minion. We crush the Valkyrie, and the Firecracker actually stays alive. Not the end of the world for us. He goes with the Spear Gobs. Electro Giant's going to be good, guys. It's going to be good, even though he didn't even swing on the tower. Look at the tower! How does this card, got, how does this card not get the nerf, guys? I don't know. That's an insane amount of damage. We have the NATO, but yeah, this deck is really strong, guys. I can, I can see it having a lot of good matchups in the next season. Um, he's going Hog Rider. I don't think that's going to matter too much, guys. We can just NATO it. Get over here, boy. Nice. The Firecracker's lighting us up, so well played on that, but we are looking good. Let's go Dark Prince. Um, see if we can force out a Valkyrie, maybe. Get him to spend some Elixir. There's the Valkyrie. Nice. Let's go Bomber here. Bomber will be all right. Double Elixir is about to be upon us. He's just placed Spear Goblins into our Bomber. That's just unlucky. Obviously, I don't think he realized we had Bomber right there. Um, we're going to go Electro Giant right here. Double Elixir's hit. We now can save up for our Lightning Spell. He does go for the Log there. I don't think he has too much Elixir here. 
Um, so we're gonna go Mega Minion here. We got to save up for the Lightning, obviously. King Tower's gonna help out, crush that Hog Rider really, really nicely. So yeah, we're looking good. Let's go Dark Prince. I think now we just bridge spam, guys. We NATO. Dark Prince kills the Firecracker. That's big. He does defend it really well, honestly. Nice, he's forced to fireball that. That's a lot of elixir he's had to spend right there. I'm really worried he's gonna try and sneak in a hog rider, guys. We do not have the damage lead here. He has fireballs. So this is actually turning. I don't know if this is actually a good matchup for us or not. We're gonna go like oh, he's got us. He beat us. I think that was actually not a very good matchup for us because he has such a fast cycle. He can stack Teslas. We also didn't really play it right with the Electro Giant. Completely fine, obviously. It sucks we weren't able to get a win with probably the strongest deck here today, but that's all right. Obviously, that was a very solid matchup for him, and it doesn't help we didn't play it perfectly, right? So that was a fun match overall. Thank you very much, Origin, for playing, dude. But this is going to be an extremely strong deck, and like I said, it's subject to change. I think a good substitution here, if you guys are going to try out this deck, is to throw in the Goblin Brawler for the Dark Prince. That's going to make it a lot easier to face those hard riders and stuff obviously the natos are right but you do want to normally use the nato with your electric giant making this change should ultimately help you guys out with this deck but thank you guys so much for watching once again deck number one was the log bait deck deck number two was the lumberjack balloon deck and deck number three was the electro giant baby dragon mega minion deck here with the goblin cage a very fun strategy in clash royale make sure to subscribe if you guys ended up enjoying today's video but hopefully you guys all have a great day thank you so much for watching make sure to join the discord server once again to try and get that pass royale hopefully you guys are all staying safe out there see you later everybody master diddy san out.